Well, this is different. There is a proposal to turn a section of a closed metro mall into a medical marijuana grow operation. We are talking about the old Crossroads Mall in Southeast OKC, and a next door charter school opposes the plan submitted to the city this week. News 9's Clayton Cummins is live now with the details of that plan. Clayton? Yeah, Kelly and Amanda, the plans are in the beginning stages. It may not come to fruition. Regardless, the fact that something like this is perfectly legal is throwing a lot of red flags for a nearby school. According to a document submitted to the city, the owner of Mayor Farm LLC, a person named Yang Yang, is looking to transform a portion of the former department store into a medical marijuana grow operation. We're not interested in, in any size uh, marijuana grow, retail, storage, uh, or, uh, uh, or any other type of marijuana facility in proximity to where we serve kids. The plants certainly have the attention of Santa Fe South Charter School Superintendent Chris Brewster. His pre-K through 12 students attend school on the east side of the former mall. I think strip clubs are legal. Um, I think nightclubs are legal. I think liquor stores are legal. And uh, society has generally said we don't really need those near our children. Uh, this type of uh, facility is not one that would be conducive to and, and, in, and really align with what we're teaching our kids. Lynn's Crossroad Plaza LLC purchased the property last summer. The owner's assistant tells News 9 Yang met with the owner about leasing space, saying in a statement, I believe the owner doesn't have the intention to lease it to Yang. OMMA says it's perfectly legal for a marijuana farm to operate that close to a school, something Santa Fe South Charter School says they would like to see changed. Well, I'm hopeful that the state legislature and others revisit any any other areas that we might need to do a better job of regulating this industry. Now, if the city signs off on the plan, the owner would then have to go to OMMA to apply for a license. OMMA says uh, they have not done that. Or is there an active license here to grow marijuana? Live in Southeast Oklahoma City, Clayton Cummins, Oklahoma's own News 9. All right, Clayton, though, you'll keep an